And let's say hello to YouTube as well. We are back live, both on Twitch and YouTube. Today, in an unscheduled stream, we are trying to achieve something more with the Lesky save. Wow, we are already doing wonders with um, Balkan United. And despite the fact that we still don't have uploaded the video to YouTube that is with us winning the Champions League for the first season with Lesky Sofia, we're now live and trying to win the Champions League for a second time in a row. We, by the way, just managed to knock out Bayern München in the semi-final. By winning 4-0 at home. We lost the first game 1-3 away. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that our best goalkeeper, our first choice goalkeeper, uh, is injured. And our reserve goalkeeper managed to score a known goal. And then actually gifted the ball to this guy who is one of the best players in the world in Bayern. And they scored three. Despite the fact that we were actually better in the first half. But in the home game, we managed to win 4-0. An absolutely perfect performance by our club. So we're going to be playing either Man United or Real Madrid. Uh, we've just finished the semi-final. So uh, we still don't know what is going on in that game. And here it is. First leg was 1-1. And now it's against Real Madrid. Last season... No, I'm not going to spoil it. Am I going to spoil it? Yeah, I'm going to spoil it. No, I'm not spoiling it. <laughs> I'll eventually say that. <laughs> so, oh my god, Real Madrid absolutely destroyed Man United. So, it's going to be Real Madrid against us in the final of the Champions League. Um, Now, we're just going to race quickly to the final. First thing we're going to do is we're going to give a... Let's check, by the way, let's, do check, let's check the schedule. So, it's May the 7th. We are, by the way, undefeated. I think it's the first time that we're undefeated in uh, Bulgaria. And we are actually going for the Invisible Season. And we're also in the final of the Cup. So, we're going for a second quadruple in a row. Now, um, the Cup final is on 14th. So, I'm going to give... Six days, five days rest to the main squad. And I'm going to let them play in the final. So, let's do this. Training, rest for five days. Now, next thing we do is we pick a rotated squad. And we go on a vacation. Until the 13th. On vacation, 13th. Current match squad and come back on the 13th. So, we're gonna let the assistant manager manage the, the cup game. I think that he should be able to win it without us being there and giving instructions. And then we're gonna prepare for the final against Real Madrid. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna spoil it. The video is not out there on YouTube, sorry. I need to spend a bit more time to teach everything and make it ready for you. Last season, we managed to win the Champions League by knocking out Bayern Munich. No, knocking out Real Madrid in the semi-final and beating Bayern Munich in the final. And this time, we knocked out Bayern Munich in the semi-final and we are playing Real Madrid in the final. So, hopefully, we can do it a second time in a row. Now... Tomorrow is the final for the Bulgarian Cup. So let's come back. I don't know. Let's come back on the 22nd. Let's come back on the 22nd and let's use let's let the assistant the manager use all the players freely. So he has the advantage because we have a really really good squad and we should be able to win it. By the way, our, our team is absolutely stacked in this moment. Th that's why I like I won the Champions League, but I wanted to try to give it a little push forward and see whether we can do it maybe two or three times in a row, or at least win two in three seasons or something. So uh, I'm going to be happy about building a legacy and not just uh, winning it once. And uh, I think we're building a legacy here. So... Even if we don't win it this time, we're still going to try to win it next season. And that's where the save is going to end. Hopefully, we can maybe win it three times in a row. Or at least, as I said, three times in two, se uh, 
two, two seasons, two times in three seasons. Um, the only thing that is quite unfortunate is that one of our best players, our right wing back, is not willing to renew his contract. But maybe. Okay, first of all, what happened in the Bulgarian Cup final? Ah, uh, we won it 9 0. My, my. We really won it 9 0. Can you imagine? Borello, a perfect 10. Ranoga, it's a perfect 10. Oh, my. It was. Uh, this, this game was a mature content thing. So. We still have only one game to play against Slavia from the season. Therefore, I'm just gonna get to this screen and yet again give quite a lot of players the rest. So, training crest for. Should I? Should I really do that? Today is the 22nd. Nah, let them play against Slavia because if we win against Slavia, we are going undefeated and it's gonna be a perfect thing. Like, if we can actually win a quadruple and at the same time go invincibles, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so let's just come back on the 25th. Profile, go on vacation, let's come back on the 25th. Then we're gonna rest the players for two days before the final against Real Madrid. The oldest Sofia Derby. Levski versus Slavia. Last game for the season. 35th domestic game in the league. Because we also won the cup. Did we actually win the Super Cup this season? I think we won it. And there it is. The final of the season. We many. Oh my god. Okay. It's an injury. But not to a very essential player. That's good. So. We have. Won the Super Cup. We have... So we won the UEFA Super Cup. We... What happened to the Bulgarian Super Cup? Okay, so we've already won the Bulgarian Super Cup, the Bulgarian Cup, the UEFA Super Cup, the title. And okay, we're now doing the quadruple already. We are invincibles in Bulgaria. After winning 32 games out of 35, drawing 3 and winning with 99 points. 32 points ahead of um, Ludogorets and 37 points ahead of Jessica. Uh, a pretty solid season, you can say. Pretty solid season for us. Now, there is only one more game to win. What, what, do, we what do we call it? Like, is it a quintuple? Are we really playing for a quintuple? All right. So, where do we start? We start on the screen and we just give all these players. A three day rest, maybe? All of them. Let's just make sure. The final is. The final is on the 31st. Okay. Let's give him a rest. Rest. Training, rest for four days, maybe. That's fine. And now let's... Uh, by the way, can we actually try... First of all, Juan Cruz Bravo. 35 goals and 11 assists. What a legend. What a legend. He actually managed to get to 15 finishing, which I didn't expect of him. He is 193 centimeters tall, weights 90 kilos, and is a magician on the ball for some reason. Jose Marquez with 29 goals and 7 assists. Samuel Burrell, absolute legend. 25 goals and 20 assists. And... Our Messi, Mauricio Storti. 12 goals and 19 assists from midfield. So, okay. Uh, we gave them a bit of a rest before the final. Now, can we actually extend the contract of Brian Ross? Are you willing to negotiate? Come on, like. You're the second Champions League final in a row with us and you don't want to extend your contract. By the way, we have Jaden Sancho and Gabriel Martinelli as spot players. So is Enzo Fernandez and Kai Havertz. Now, then the thing we do is my profile, go on vacation and come back for the next match. And the next match will be the last match for the season. The last match in the calendar in the European football. A 
Final against Real Madrid. They were uh, absolute monsters throughout this save. I think they won the first seven or eight titles in Spain. Like the best run I've ever seen in Spain. It's usually one of these leagues in FM that you have your Barcelona winning one or two, your Real Madrid winning three or four, you have your maybe an Atletico Madrid or someone else sneaking in there and getting a title, but at some point Rodrigo was even better than Vinny Jr. and with Camavinga and um, by the way Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham was absolute beast throughout this save. So here we are uh, about to play the final against Real Madrid and um, we've met them a couple of times already. As you can tell, up to a couple of seasons ago, we were not really doing well against them, but now we are on a row. We won three times in a row against Real Madrid. And last time we knocked them out of the Champions League semi-final. By the way, how are they doing now? Look at this. Spanish first division. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so throughout the entire save, they've been winning La Liga. As many times as we've won the Bulgarian League, Real Madrid managed to win La Liga. This is absolutely insane. My god. Okay, so. Who are the star players in their squad? One, Mikhail Angel Leon. The goalkeeper. Okay, they can have a goalie. One, Manuel Cuisenu, an ex-player of Levski. We sold him for 86 million before this season, and now he costs 250 million just because he plays for Real Madrid. Okay, so if Cuisenu is their star player, I gotta be honest, I'm not really. I'm not really impressed. Their score is so thin. I don't know. So the question is, can we win a quintuple? And um, a second Champions League final with a row? Simple as that. Squad dynamics? Excellent. Bene. Love it. All right. Now... We are always playing positive. Now, this is the, the, the formation that we played against Bayern Munich at home, but we needed to overcome a 3 1 loss away. So this is quite offensive. Let's let's have a quick look at it and maybe do something else. Ross is a complete wing back on attack. Forgets about the fact that he's actually a defender and he's like if Trent Alexander never played in defense. This is what he does as a complete wing back. So maybe a wing back on support is more like the thing that we're looking for. You know what? Wing back uh, or comp complete wing back on attack. Okay, we're 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 going out with a bang, aren't we? Okay, so Juan Cruz Bravo, Marquis and Burrell, who scored seventy goals across them this season. Mauricio Story. Now here. I'm gonna do something like this instead. Carlos Leon, maybe we should play Ka Karoglan there. Yeah, give me Karoglan. Then... Brenz Dravkovic. Oh, Evaku is back! Our main goalkeeper is back after breaking... breaking an, was the finger or something else? He had an injury, so okay, now that, now that we have our best goalkeeper in goal, I feel way more confident about this game. Any other changes we do? Maybe something in the... Nah, I don't feel so. I don't feel like we're gonna be doing changes. Okay, let's go. Let's defeat Real Madrid in the final Champions League. Okay, they're motivated. This is good. Let's ask the assistant to pick individual... Uh, individual... 
instructions for the players then let's listen to the anthem Kamuvinga and our ex-player Quisenio. He won the Champions League with us last season, so he has a medal from the Champions League. Both teams coming on the pitch. The whole stadium is blue. Look at the guy. 193 centimeters tall. Love it. Come on, let's win it! Okay, at the beginning of the game, they have the ball and we are kind of chasing shadows. Now it's more even. Let's encourage the guys again. This is my first highlight for us. Serrano Gaetz, our defensive midfielder. Brian Ross, who already has the yellow card. Because why not? A cross for Borello! Would have been nice to score there. Now, short corner. Something with train. Brian Ross on his left. Passing it, shooting it, doing absolutely I don't know what. What? Was Dravkovic? Nothing, nothing. Nothing from this uh, highlight. Okay, not much in the first 20 minutes. A regular Champions League final. Another corner. Mauricio Storti. Across it. Your post, oh my god, it hit the bar! Burello! Six shots, none on target. Alright, uh, we gotta do something about this. We gotta hit the target in order to score. What a do first half. Come on, boys. Okay, it seems like Real Madrid are actually scared of us. So, we are the team that's controlling things on the field. But, <laughs> we simply have to be better in front of goal, guys. Like, I, I have nothing else to tell you. Just gotta start scoring. Would ya? Just make a run. He was waiting for you to make a run and he didn't start. Borello from the free kick. Okay. Brandros Zdravkovic. Laying down the right wing. Juan Cruz back to Renu Gaetz. Mauricio Story plays his way out of trouble. Good pass for Ross. Ross was offside. Hmm. Bad pass by Story there. He's having not the best game of his life so far. Oh nah, that's that's a good ball by them. <laughs> oh thank God it's a vacuo in goal and not Chara. Almost cost us in the spot the spot in the final. Okay, we're not doing great in the second half. Vapor, first time live, uh, second time live on uh, on YouTube, by the way. So, it's not your fault, it's mine. All right, we are doing something wrong, and I don't know what it is. Story is having a bad game. Borello is also not lighting the world on fire. Hmm. Maybe Story could play. He 
here. Can we do that? Come on, guys. Karoglan. Come on, boys. Come on. What is your story? Marquez. Yeah, their goal is really good. But we, we gotta start hitting the target, guys. Yeah, maybe we then try and shoot on target instead. How about that? And increase the tempo a bit. Can we do that? Or attacking players are having a bad game. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Now nah, Vapor unfortunately couldn't uh, couldn't do it. He won it in nine seasons, and I won it in thirteen. And uh, but but he was really cool, and he actually accepted to get a Levski T-shirt. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. So he accepted to get a Levski T-shirt, and I just mailed it to him yesterday. And it's it's a really nice one, a custom one with Zealand to the back. Hopefully it gets uh, it gets to the USA, and we get a picture of it, with, picture of him with it. It's gonna be really nice. And thank God I didn't have to buy a Bate t-shirt. Okay, we're getting kind of overrun in midfield. And I don't like that. So let's play Leon here and sub off on Gaets for... Yeah, for KM maybe. But we are gonna do something different. It's gonna be Cataudella, deep line playmaker, and Kiemba is gonna be the runner. Borello is having really a bad game. Let's play Gabriel Martinelli. Like, we don't really have a lot of options on the right. Inside forward on... Let's have him on support. And play Mauricio's story as a shadow striker. How about that? Can we try something like this? <laughs> yeah, that would have been a really bad thing to have <laughs> the Bada t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, but but by the way, I, I, I honestly have no idea whether you can buy button merch and get delivered to Bulgaria. I like Even if I wanted to, uh, I'm not really sure whether you can do it. Okay, our Our players are really not having a good game now. Even Mauricio's story. All the attacking players like are just not hitting the target in this game. This is kind of bad. But we just need to score one. And do not concede any. This is what we need. Come on, boys. Ah, defend. 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 Well done, Storty. Well done. Can I encourage you guys? I can't. Ah, uh, oh, wow. A foul. Oh, they're playing. Yeah, they're playing with a DM and two CMs. Kind of nervy game. The first score is going to win it. Let's not concede then. Can we? Ooh, wow. Thank God we have a Vaku, as I said. My man. Ooh. Yeah, okay. This is not working. And this is not working. And we gotta do something like this then. Come on, boys. The press there. Gabriel Martinelli. Martinelli back to Carlos Leon. Leon loses it, but Martinelli wins it back. Yeah, that was a bad pass. 
Oh my. Oh my. 87 minutes. I hate finals. Don't get dragged out of position. Don't get dragged out of position to press. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. Um, well. I really don't have to tell you how much what I would have hated to, to have to buy a body t-shirt. <laughs> but maybe if the the guy that was delivering it was a Tessica fan, he would have delivered it with a huge grin on his face. Okay, Mauricio. Come on, Mauricio. No! Yeah, yeah, like it's gonna happen. You wish. Why are we not hitting the target in this game? We played so well against Bayern Munich in the second time, in the second leg. They're dragging us out of position. Uh, I'm not really sure why. Whoa! Okay. Something's not working there. Something is definitely not working. We're gonna play Enzo Fernandez. There's a central midfielder on... Support. Martinelli is gonna be switched to attack. This guy is going to be an advanced forward, and this guy is going to be a complete forward and attack. Oh, weird game, a weird game, a weird game, a really, really weird game. Shoot more often, shoot more often. Where is the shoot more often option? Oh, it's already selected. Shoot more often. Marcus, shoot more often as well. Come on, guys. Please. Marquis with a 6.2. The guy scored 30 goals this season and he has a thinker in the final. Ah. Another highlight. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, my. Boys. What happened to you today? Still drinking Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, theoretically, Bravo should be good in the air, but I don't know. The early crosses. I I switched them on right now, did I? Yeah, I switched them on, but lately we've not been crossing well, that's why I don't want to use it. I tried last couple of games we're not great at crosses. It's kind of annoying the last new new first half we hit six shots early on and then boo, nothing okay uh not good enough Martinelli Unfortunately, our subs are not as good. And a lot of players I had to sub because they were so tired. Okay, Carlos Long, come on. 
What a cross. This is an early cross. <laughs> this is an early cross. <laughs> Crossing from deep. Come on, boys. Don't be like that. What are the frowning faces? Look at Marquez. He's having a bad game, but he's so happy about it. Carlos Leon. Cross it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Good press. Good press. Well done, Caranta. Enzo Fernandez. Marquez. Marquez, you need one good touch. This is all I need from you. One good touch. The end of a Martinelli. What was that? Okay, Brian Ross. Brian Ross. Come on, Ross. Ross with the cross. Nope. Nope. Denied. Oh, wow. They almost scored an own goal. Whoa. I would have loved that. Boys. Marquez crosses it for Martinelli. Carlos Leon. Nah, that's dumb. Both strikers with such a bad game. Do we have someone to spice things up front? Jaden Sancho is the only attacking player that is not on the field right now. And he's... A 36-year-old Jaden Sancho. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we have Jorge Murante, by the way. Yeah, let's play Jorge Murante as a runner and Jaden Sancho. Oh, we don't have more substitutes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you think? I would actually do something like this. Central midfielder on attack. And uh, Marquis is a shadow striker, as I say. And Martinelli is gonna be around Deuter. This is too offensive, though. But, like, I really don't want it to go to penalties. Marquis should be marking the left defender. Get further possible, roam from position, shoot more often. He's, he has. 19 sh finishing. 19 finishing. He should be able to score from freaking everywhere. Morante should be the runner. Okay, the legend behind the cow. And welcome to us trying to win the Champions League final. <laughs> a second in a row, by the way. Hey, everybody else as well. And welcome to the stream. Wait, what? Yeah, we're trying to win a second big Champions League final in a row. No, 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 no. This is like an unscheduled, unscheduled uh, thing. We are, we're going to keep going the Balkan United way. But today we are doing like... Getting back to the Levski save for, for, for... I don't know, for, for to try and win another Champions League. And you're in the extra time of the final of the Champions League against Real Madrid. So... Let's see whether we can do whether we can win it. Ah, come on, boys! Come on! It's about to go to penalties. I I, I can see it. Oh my! What a pass, dude! Dude. 
I hate Ramos breathing Leo life. I hate him in the game. Marquez for Morante. Brian Ross. Zdravkovic. Karanta. Okay, Karanta, you have. Hi, Stefanov. Martinelli, Marquez, Morante! <laughs> You're not allowed to miss those chances! It's a goal! Marquez with a nice touch, finally! 109th minute! Come on! Okay, now. Now. We hold our shape. And we drop the line a bit. Tiny bit. Reduce the press a bit because we are... Getting dragged out of position all the freaking time. We go balanced. Oh my, come on. Hey, I'm back. Oh, okay, so first of all, let's let's end this highlight. Garanta, Kayembe, hey, Marquez, Martinelli. Okay, now we do something else. Pull back on defense. Pull back on support. Complete forward on support. These two guys are switched. No, so this guy is gonna keep playing as advanced forward, but Marquez, first of all, they're now uh, rotating. So I don't really want this guy to be switching positions. Okay, so they're not now not switching positions. Marquez, he can actually be reused as a attacking midfielder on support. Gabriel Martinelli is gonna be an advanced playmaker on support. Enzo Fernandez is gonna be central midfielder on support. Uh, I'm gonna give you a background. We are having an unscheduled stream today. That's why we're not playing the uh, Balkan United save. And we are sneaking in uh, a, 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 another season with Levski. Like, just to see whether we can win the Champions League a little bit, like a second or a third time. And um, this is gonna be our second time in a row. And if we manage to win it, uh, even if we don't manage to win it, I'm gonna have another unscheduled, surprising stream sometime trying to win it in the, in the next season. So if we manage to get it two or three times in a row, like after next season, we're stopping with the save. But I'm, I'm sorry, I know that you haven't seen it on YouTube yet, but the moment I got to the final, I was like, oh, okay, I have to share this with you. With, with you. So that's why we're that's why we're here, and that's why we're playing the final of the Champions League with Lesky. <laughs> Come on, guys. Ten more minutes. Martinelli. Gonna cross it. Kayembe. Was that a foul? No, just a bad touch. Okay. Gabriel Martinelli trying to score free kick for Levski in the final against Real Madrid. Come to 19 minutes. One more minute to go. Come on, guys. Do not lose the ball there. No, 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 no. Oh. Come on, guys.
Champions League in a row for Levski Sofia. Look at us lifting the trophy. Woo! That's it, baby. Two Champions Leagues in a row. Quadruple last season. Quintuple this season. We won the European Super Cup. We won the Bulgarian Super Cup. We won the Bulgarian Cup. We won the title in an invisible season, finishing with 99 points. And we also win the Champions League. So, is this a legacy now, or have we just won Champions League once? No, it is a freaking legacy. Winning five trophies in a single season. That's it. So, next week, we're going to have another unscheduled stream. It's not on the schedule. And I would have prepared a save until we, have, we reach the end of the league phase of the Champions League. And we're going to try to win it for the third time in a row. And whatever we win it or we don't win it this is where we end like this save ends after next season so thanks very much for joining and you're gonna get a surprise sometime next week we're gonna try to win it for a third time in a row see ya bye bye